Hello, everybody. Back again. Chrissy, Tanner, Common Sense Editors, weekly EdTech series every Tuesday. So make sure to subscribe. What we do is we talk about tools that we've reviewed on a site that is called Common Sense Education. It's part of a larger global nonprofit called Common Sense, or most of you probably know it as Common Sense Media. There's an education site which we re do reviews on. This is a convoluted way of saying <laughs> that this is just a stupid YouTube show about cool <laughs> products you may want to use in your classroom. And Chrissy, you've got one to talk about today. So take it I away. I do. Great. Thanks, Tanner. I have a site that is called Global Problem Solvers. And I will go ahead and show you what it's all about. It is sponsored by Cisco as part of their social responsibility um, situation. I'm sorry, you're probably going to hear my elderly cat crying in the background, but ju let's just say that that's an added bonus. That, um, that sounded to me like a shut up. I was trying to sleep. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's hard to tell at this point. She's old. She has a lot of needs. Um, but global problem solvers can solve your needs in this way. It can help your kids do a lot of critical thinking, collaboration around what they are calling social entrepreneurship. Basically, what that means is taking a problem that's affecting people and sort of putting it through a design thinking-esque process to come up and iterate, come up with solutions, iterate, and put those into practice. Um they have, uh, so you can see here, it's a, it's a team of uh, diverse problem solvers who each have a specific skill set and they come together to work together. Um, there are two, go ahead. Notably, they each have uh, anime hair too. That's, that's an important yes. thing that unites them all. Yes, they have sweet, sweet haircuts. <laughs> it's true. Um, and an owl. So, you, I mean... That's amazing. Um, they are 25 minute videos, which is manageable. Um, and there are two seasons of these videos that are progressive. And you can see here the teacher resource page where they have really thought through what teachers might want here. So there's a, a teacher's guide that gives you sort of the general scope then they have storyboards that actually show you the storyboards, but with the script added. So if you need to go back and revisit, but you don't want to watch the video again, they have all this available for you. I don't think you can see what I was clicking on there. Um, that's great for active viewing too, and for accessibility, right? So you could prepare yes. those for students and every everybody could have them on their desks while they're watching, take notes. Plus, and, it's available in four languages. Oh, yeah. So nice. that's pretty amazing. Um, then they have just the scripts without the storyboards. To teaching companion. And essentially, the teaching companion is worksheets for each episode. And the worksheets are not the strongest feature on this site. Um, but they are, you know, there is something to build off of there. There's something that kids can use to interact with the episodes. So you have uh, one for all episodes, if you just want to do it all together, and then they broke it apart. Here's season two, all the same stuff. And then they have these longer term projects that are really cool. And if you, you know, after you have gone through this with your students, you can challenge them to use technology to solve a local problem. So they can apply all the skills that they've learned along the way. And then what I think is also really cool is they have these videos of interviews with global problem solvers. So they have these, what they are calling social entrepreneurs um, who are scientists of many ilks um, who are applying their skills in lots of different ways, which is pretty cool. So it, it brings it into the real world in a different way, I think. Um, Again, it's all free. Oh, they also have these hints, of course, from the owl. The owl always has the bears the burden of giving the hints. Um, but yeah, it's it's all free, and I think 
really designed with teachers in mind. I would say middle school is probably the sweet spot. We put it all the way up to ninth grade. Um, but I think probably middle school is where this would fit really well. But there are so many different subject areas too that you could probably apply this to. So it makes it um, pretty utilitarian and, and useful. Is it an active site? Are they still posting episodes and seasons? That's a great question. I have only seen those two seasons. So that's yeah. all that has existed since we reviewed it. Yeah. I believe still, last that's, year. It seems like that's a good amount of content still. Like you could get quite a lot out of if you were to teach through those two seasons, especially if you're to do the extension projects. It seems like it's a healthy amount yes. of content. Oh, and I'll mention one more thing too. The the first season is set in Malawi. Um, and it's about um, wells, water wells that aren't working well. <laughs> and um, what I really loved about some of the problem solving is that they really were using the information that they gleaned from the people there. So there was um, knowledge that they were getting from the people who were affected. It wasn't like this team was swooping in and solving problems uh, for the people in that community. They, they were using the knowledge of that community um, to help solve the problem, which I thought was also really cool. Yeah, that's great. That shows a real attention to detail and a, and a commitment to truly kind of inclusive um, practice. So that's cool. So you can yeah. check that review out on commonsense.org slash education. Wasn't this uh, one of our common sense selections for learning? If I recall? Um, it sounds like it might be. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> yes, know this. it is. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes. it is. Yep. Yeah, I remember it, it talking about it. proudly bears the, the seal. Yes. Yeah, so that is our common sense selection for learning is our highest award. So this is one of our most recommended um, tools for learning. So go check that on comments. Um, Maybe the highest honor out there for anything, anywhere. I'm running through my Oscars, MacArthur Genius Awards, Nobel Prizes, Pulitzers. Yeah, I think we're definitely rank above all those. So if there are any others, I'm forgetting. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So every week, subscribe. Come to the site, come to YouTube, log on to YouTube, like these videos, subscribe, schedule your life around this YouTube show, and we'd appreciate that. So see you again.